Hi there. For this video, we are going to be using our pen. Okay, we've done a couple of activities where we have used our program to create a square. Um, but this time, we're actually going to be going down to the looks commands to where we can drop a pen and have it actually color on our playground to to show that our, our object or our, our car actually made a pen. So going back over to our commands, we're going to make a square again. So similar, similar things to what we've been doing. I'm going to use my copy and paste. And that is not always doing what I'm supposed to or what I want it to do, but it's OK. Copy and paste. So I'm going to make that square again. Okay. Paste again. Paste again. So there's my square. I put this all in here. This makes my square. All right. And so we'll test this really quickly. Remember, a lot of a lot of programming comes back to trial and error and trying different things and you know adjusting numbers. And that's something that we really haven't done since we've started this is changed our number here. Uh, we'll do that uh, for some future projects. So there's our square. But there's really no evidence that our square was even made. So now I'm going to add in a drop the pin down. So I'm going to put in move robot pin down. Okay. And then I want it to be this first leg. I want it to be black. Then, just for kicks and giggles with this, I'm going to have it change the color for every side of the square that it creates. So after it turns, the color is going to change. We're going to see how this, how this works. Okay. And the final color is blue. So if, if I'm looking at this correctly, and if I did this correctly, what should happen is it's going to do the first leg in black, and then it's going to turn to red with the top, and then the right side will be in green, and then the bottom will be in blue. So let's test this out and see if it worked. All right, so reset it, press play, and there's my black pen. There it turns red, there it turns green, and that last one is blue. All right, so that's just one way that we can kind of, you can make sure that you're documenting and showing your, you know, your object is going where it's supposed to go and what it's supposed to do for this challenge was to make a square. So uh, that's just another way that we can, that we can use that. So I look forward to some more videos coming up on using some other skills.